hello viewers in today's class we are going to discuss an important uh, definite integral uh, where we have to find uh, the value of this integral from 0 to 1 x square 1 minus x raised to 11 right so let us start now uh, let us first call this integral as i right now here uh, we are going to uh, solve this uh, definite integral uh, by making use of uh, the properties of definite integrals right so here I uh, will uh, use an important property of uh, a definite integral uh, which says that uh, if we have the integral from 0 to a f of x dx then this integral can be written as 0 to a f of a minus x dx right so we'll make use of this property to evaluate uh, this uh, uh, integral right so now if we compare uh, this integral uh, with this one then we see that the value of a is 1 right and uh, now uh, what we will do uh, here we'll assume uh, this integrand uh, that is f of x is equal to x square 1 minus x raised to 11 right so we'll take this function as f of x right now in the next step what we have to do uh, we have to replace uh, this x by a minus x right so x is to be replaced by a minus x it implies x is to be replaced by 1 minus x right so now f of 1 minus x is equal to uh, here we'll uh, replace this x and this x by 1 minus x so we have 1 minus x square and we have 1 minus 1 minus x uh, raised to 11 right so this is 1 minus uh, x square and here we have uh, 1 minus 1 plus x raised to 11 so we have 1 minus x square and this one and this one get cancelled so we are left with x raised to 11 right okay so now this integral i can be uh, written as uh, 0 to 1 and x square 1 minus x raised to 11 dx uh, can be uh, equal to uh, 0 to 1 and this is f of x so here we have to write f of 1 minus x right so this uh, function is to be written over here so f of 1 minus x is uh, 1 minus x uh, whole square and we have x raised to 11 dx right so now this integral is reduced to this one right okay so now we have 0 to 1 and 1 minus x whole square is 1 plus x square minus 2x and here we have x raised to 11 dx right okay so now uh, we can multiply these three terms with x raised to 11 right so we have 0 to 1 and we have x raised to 11 uh, plus uh, here we have uh, the exponent 2 here we have 11 so this is x raised to uh, 13 and then we have minus 2 here we have x raised to 1 here we have 11 so this is x raised to 12 right okay so now we have here uh, three uh, terms right and now uh, we can integrate these three terms by making use of this result that is integral of x raised to n is equal to x raised to n plus 1 over n plus 1 right where n is not equal to minus 1 right so here the integral of x raised to 11 is x raised to 12 over 12 then we have uh, x raised to 13 so this is x raised to 14 
that is 13 plus 1 14 and here also we have 14 and then we have uh, uh, minus 2 and x raised to 13 over 13 right and the limits of integration are from 0 to 1 right so now if we substitute the limits uh, we'll get i is uh, equal to uh, 1 raised to 12 uh, divided by 12 then we have plus 1 raised to 14 over 14 minus uh, 2 times 1 raised to 13 over 13 and uh, when we take uh, 0 then uh, this entire term uh, would be 0 right so now i is equal to 1 over 12 plus 1 over 14 minus 2 over 13 right so now we have the uh, these three uh, fractions and uh, we can simplify uh, these uh, this term uh, very easily right so now we can write uh, uh, let us first take these two terms so we have 14 plus 12 over uh, 12 times 20, uh, 14 is 168 minus uh, 2 over 13 right so this is uh, 26 over 168 minus 2 over 13 right and if we cancel uh, these two terms uh, with 2 we have 13 and here we have 8 and 4 so this is 13 over 84 minus 2 over 13 right now uh, we can uh, cross multiply so we'll get uh, 169 here and here we have 168 and uh, in the denominator we have 84 uh, multiplied by 13 uh, that is 1092 right so 169 minus 168 is 1 and here we have 1092 right so viewers uh, the value of this uh, definite integral is 1 over uh, 1092 right so this is how we solve this uh, definite integral uh, using this uh, uh, property right